Joining me now at Post 9 to discuss is Sheila Kailu of Jeffries. So, Sheila, good to see you. you um, put it in some perspective. First, I guess, what's the uh, presumed business logic here of actually bringing the supplier in-house? So I think in a perfect world, Boeing would operate by itself. Spirit would be an outsourced supplier of fuselages. They would each enjoy profits, and they would go on with their business. But clearly, you know, Dave Calhoun has softened his tone over the last few months, given the aft pressure bulkhead issues, the Alaska Airlines incident. And it seems like Spirit has to come in-house to be better managed. So, and would that be, is it your read that they feel like they need to have more control, that they have to show that they have their hands directly on the, the uh, production and safety issues, or how would it play? Yes, yeah, so I think just given the FAA audit, it's in week four of six, there's a DOJ investigation, there's clearly a lot of manufacturing mishaps that are going on. Yeah. So Boeing has to bring Spirit in-house. Now, we don't know the price associated sure. with that, which could be a takeover or a take under at this point, just given the issues Spirit has had. Right. Now, Spirit is also uh, part of its business is a supplier to Airbus as well. So the presumption is they would separate that out. Yeah. So tw about 20 percent of sales is to Airbus. Uh, the thing is, that business is actually losing 200 million of cash flow this year and 150 next. Uh -huh. So what do they sell that for? Likely not much is our base case assumption. Mm -hmm. And then what do you do with the rest for Boeing? So we assume that Boeing basically takes the cogs in-house, so take, takes home about 10 percent per fuselage mm -hmm. that they don't have to pay spirit for. But obviously they have to manage that better and take on that working capital risk themselves. Right. And so I guess if you bottom line it in terms of what it might mean for Boeing and for, in terms of, you know, financing the acquisition and then what it means for their own earnings and cash flow? So it depends if they're going to have to raise equity. And Boeing the price, has $16 of course, billion of yeah. cash on its balance sheet. We think they're going to use $2 billion in the first quarter. That takes them down to 14. They need 10 billion to operate. So it's a lot. You know, we don't know if they'll have to raise uh, 8 billion of equity or 8 billion of debt. We think they could do it with debt and cash on hand. Okay. So that's also, um, you know, takes into account the accretion analysis or not. But we pretty much think it's a wash to Boeing's free cash flow at this point. I see. If you want to be a bull, you could put 300 million of free cash flow at a 6% yield. But essentially a wash. Right. So you're kind of reacquiring that free cash flow that you're was the margin. Just something in house that clearly spirit. is yeah. being problematic to remove issues and get up in production. We think Boeing's only doing sub 20 maxes in February. They're you know trying to get to 38, sure. which is not happening. And so where do you come down? I mean, obviously, if this isn't a huge swing factor in terms of Boeing's valuation, no. where do you come down on it in terms of uh, the level of stock right now and the attractiveness of it? No, we have big upside to Boeing yeah. shares, and it's all about the max getting up in rate. Clearly, Spirit has been one issue after the other. So maybe taking it in-house is the final solution to get to, you know, we were in se at September, we were at 20, and somehow we're back at 20 maxes a month again. We're supposed to be at 38. We're actually supposed to be probably at 45 at the end of the year, and we're not there yet. So we yeah. have a 50% move based on max rate getting up. So you're ex a 50% move to your price both, target. Both, yeah. share, both the price target yeah. and the max rate. Got it. So they're, they're almost aligned with one another. So maybe we're getting it pushed out, but we should get there. All right, yeah. Sheila, good to see you. Thanks so much. Good. Thank you. All right.